It's Chris. And Harley. And we're here to put a rear rack on Harley's Camp Scrambler. What we're installing today is an Axiom Journey Unifit MK3 ALU. You can get it on Amazon or hopefully your local bike shop can order one if they don't have one in stock. And this is what the rack looks like straight out of the packaging. Sweet! It comes with an extra set of feet. We'll be using those on the back of the Camp Scrambler. The tools you need are a pair of pliers and a metric set of Allen wrenches. And one modification that needs to be made is that the front racing bolt needs to be lengthened to 25 millimeters. So we have an M5 25 millimeter socket screw Allen. to replace the front Something. racing panel bolts. So we've already removed the front bolt to this racing panel. We took it to our local hardware shop to make sure we got the correct hardware for the modifications. And Harley is working on taking the bolt off from the other side. These are the two bolts that you will be replacing with the 25 millimeter, the longer ones, essentially for the bike rack to uh, affix to your bike. Just as a side note, this front bolt is a four millimeter wrench. As you can see, Harley is removing the small feet that came on the bike rack to replace with these larger ones on each side. So here are the larger feet that come with the bike rack. Uh, we're going to be painting them to cover up uh, these numbers and stuff because that just doesn't look as cool on the side of your bike. But I just wanted to point out that on the gear side of the back tire, you'll be going into 26. We'll be using 26. And on the brake side, we'll be using 29. So note that there are two different uh, holes that you're using for each side of the bike. Gear side is 26, brake side is 29. As you can see, Harley is putting the longer feet on the bike rack. If you did paint them like we did, you wanna make sure that the painted side is on the outside of the bike rack. And again, it's a four millimeter Allen wrench used for that hardware. And this is gonna be moving too, so don't tighten it too much so you can move it while you're trying to put it on the bike. Or something. Yeah, you wanna leave that a bit little, loose. That's yeah. a good point, Harley. Yeah. So it's time to put the second bolt in the longer shoe. And right here, you it's hard to tell, this is 29, right? So this is for the brake side. So we've lined up these holes. We're gonna yep, thread the bolt through and go ahead and put that in. On the gear side, we want it to be 26, which is this furthest back hole on the shoe. So we line that up with the frame and put the bolt through. And now in preparing to put the bike on the rack, uh, Harley is loosening this bolt right here uh, so that we can freely adjust these to attach to the front of our racing panels. And last step to prepare the bike rack for installation is to loosen these bolts on top. That's a four millimeter Allen wrench right there. And that just gives these arms some swivel as well as lengthening and shortening for the installation. So here we are brake side. The bike rack is gonna attach with that bolt right there. It's also four millimeter Allen wrench and that does that bolt does already come installed on your bike. So just remove that bolt. So this is the gear side of the frame now. So what you're gonna do is use this empty hole here that's already on the bike. Uh, it, the screw is uh, came with the, the rack, so you'll have that. So we're gonna attach the gear side of this empty hole with the bolt that is came with. The rack. Putting the rear rack on and as you can see it's not quite wide enough to cover the uh, width of the four inch tire but luckily this kind we can just pull apart we can just bend a little bit yep and then we line it up with this side and I'll go ahead and start to feed this bolt through just so we can get it stabilized a little bit Okay, so there's one side. Pulling from the bag of spare bolts that came with the rack. You're gonna take the gear side and where the empty hole was and your foot attach it on the gear side. So Harley's now tightening this up, uh, snugging it up, not quite tight yet, 
because we still have a little bit of adjustment with the rest of the bike. But he's just snugging it up so it can be moved. Not super tight so it can still flex a little bit and move a little bit while we work on attaching these arms to the front of the racing panels. You see Harley is attaching the left side arm to the front racing panel. Yeah, this is kind of the bitch part. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get up in here of the butt of the bike. But <laughs> that's what you gotta do, guys. That's what you gotta do. He's bolting the second arm onto the gear side um, front racing panel bolt. So at this point, it's about tightening this bolt and the bolt on the other side to get the level for your rear rack. And that's, you know, part aesthetics and part science. Level aesthetics. <laughs> right. Aesthetics. So we're gonna keep this in line with the lines of the bike right there. And unfortunately, because of proximity to this, we're gonna have to use our pliers, our Leatherman, to tighten up this bolt right here. You don't say Harley every time. And finally, <laughs> 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 Finally, let's tighten these top bolts with that five millimeter wrench. I will say from experience, the points of failure on this, uh, for this bike rack are the front bolts. Those should be checked and tightened regularly, as well as these red, uh, I don't even know what that's called, but these red things Alloy. need to be checked and tightened regularly. Uh, those will loosen with vibration and your rack will try to fall off. We're going around and tightening up using the four millimeter wrench, uh, all of the different parts that, um, well, need it. The part that attaches to the bike, the part of the bike rack that attaches to the feet on both sides. So that's it. That's We're how you, done. yeah, that's how you put the back rack on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're just avid riders, you know, we're not professionals here, you know, uh, thanks to Chris, uh, she's taught me a lot about my bike, uh, but the main point of the bike is just to have fun, have a good time, and we're trying to get, you're almost at a thousand miles? I'm almost at a thousand miles, uh, seven miles shy. I'm a little short, but we're, <laughs> we're working there. on it. Yeah. yeah, we're getting there. Have a good day, guys. All right, we love enjoy you. your scramblers.